Today I'm going to show you the right way to insert quick connect fittings into nylon fuel line. Uh, I've got some Dorman line here, it's 800-07538 and then 800-082 uh, for the uh, quick connectors. Um, some of the tools you're going to need here, C-clamp of course, uh, side cutters, I got some electrical tape here, uh, a couple of sockets, a razor blade, and then you're going to want this uh, double flaring tool set. So um, we're going to go ahead and uh, stick the line in here that will grab it. I actually already made a straight cut here, uh, cleaned off the end so there's no burrs on it, and then I wrapped it with a couple of loops of electrical tape here too. So I'll go ahead and get that in the jaws and be right back. So here I got the hose put in the vise there. I have it tightened down just by hand, um, pretty snug. But uh, you'll know if it's too loose when you try and put the fitting in and if it slips back, you're gonna wanna reposition it and tighten it down a little bit more. So uh, with that, I did just leave enough room for expansion there. You're gonna wanna go till it bottoms out then I left that little bit for expansion. And then on this end here, this 3 8 socket will actually fit perfectly in there. So you'll just wanna have that in so you don't mess up the plastic part of the connector. Um, but go ahead and slide this in. You can usually get it to about that first bar, but it's pretty hard to get over it. All right, so yeah, I ended up having to warm it up a little bit. It shouldn't hurt anything. It's the way they recommend doing it anyways if you just do it without a tool. So I'm just turning it in here gradually. It's working pretty good. Just wanna make sure you keep everything lined up. And then make sure you bottom that line out perfectly. And that's where I'm going to quit there. So. <clears throat> so here's the finished product. Uh, heating up worked pretty good. Um, made it a lot easier to slip on there. That's the way they recommend doing it anyways. Um, either put it in boiling water or use a hair dryer like I did. I probably only had it on there 15 seconds. So it doesn't take much. Uh, you're going to want to make sure it gets pretty pliable so you don't want to get it too hot it'll just kink and bend and uh, you won't be happy so I'm just gonna show you here on this second one too you're probably gonna want to think about how your connector is supposed to be positioned if you want it any certain way before you stick it in because once you get it in there it ain't gonna move um, so I'm just gonna heat it up a little bit I just have this clamp kinda hand tight too so nothing major And there you have it. So the second fitting installed. Nice and flush. Um, everything went good. I probably only used the hair dryer for 10, 15 seconds. You don't want to get too carried away with the heat because um, you'll just kink or mangle your hose. Um, the inside of this clamp, uh, 
you know, has almost like threads in it. So you will see a little bit of scoring here on the tubing, but nothing major, just as long as you don't collapse the hose. I just had this tightened down finger hand tight, so it was snug, and once you warm it up, uh, everything goes smooth. Appreciate you watching, hope this helped you out, and uh, like, comment, and subscribe if you would. Thanks.